Okay, here we are. <laughs> um, this is your common everyday grinder, hand grinder, four and a half inch grinder. Let's see, it's a, um, what was it, uh, 5 8 uh, 11,000 RPMs. Anyway, you gotta disassemble it, take that all apart. Let's throw it on the ground. Um, take your common one apart. And hopefully it does come apart. Comes apart this way. This piece you want to keep, of course, because what you're going to be doing is putting a nut on here, which looks like this, which will screw down. But you always want to have this on there because it's going to screw down tight up against it when you go to tighten it down. Um, now, when you go to put this piece together, <laughs> you want to put some threads in there for sure because what you'll be doing is welding a chain on there, which is like this, in a sense, and you want the angles on that thing so it does clear when it does go together. And what you'll end up with something is something like this when you're all done, when it's all welded up. You have all the clearance, the whole bit. So next thing you do is you want to get a piece of tubing, because you're going to be this nut, let's do it again, this nut will be in this route with the chain on it. Try it again, this route, and you want to sleeve it out with a sleeve like this that will go over this piece, not like this one, but tight, that will be going over the top of that. So this is your swing area. You'll also have a piece of flat stock that will be going in this route. Um, because when it's all done, it looks like, <laughs> looks like this one. Probably could have had that all set, but a lot of times they don't show the people how to put these together or how they go together. But this would be on this route. The sleeve will be there, and of course, your flat plate will be on there. All right, we got that. Then next, what you're trying to develop here is something that doesn't swing with a lot of weight out here with all the pillow blocks and the bearings and everything else. So what you'll end up with a piece is like this when it's all done. And then, basically, what I've done here is this is the flat stock, this route here. This is the flat stock, this route here. This will be the sleeve that goes on top of this. And the way it goes together will be, hopefully I do it, we'll end up going this route. Use a nice bolt on there. Don't just use a nut or just a bolt by itself, but do a bolt with a lock nut. Then you don't have to worry about the threads or anything. This will be the one on this side. And what I have done on this one is basically used a piece of two inch flat stock, eighth inch to keep it lightweight, cut out eight, I think 18 inches around, welded it up in the side here and made it a two inch swing on the thing. So when you're all done there that way, and also two, you'll see the washers down in this area here where it's in the clear. Now once this is locked down, next you'll have this part that you've built. And it will screw on. If you haven't cross threaded it, uh, it'll screw on. I'm going to do this if I can view it. This will screw in this route. And of course, you got a lock button up here to lock it tight. In this case, here I use the screwdriver to get it, to get it tight. Okay, that goes in tight. So you, you have this going on. So when you do go to do it, you can turn it on, you can see the action here. Okay. So it's free spinning just about like the disc does, so you don't have to have all those, you don't have to have the pillow blocks and all that, and the weights there, and distri distributed correctly. Then next, you'll have a cover. And when you do build a cover for this thing, for the other plate, it's wise before you weld this onto this is to put this plate in, drill your holes, and put your nuts in and weld from the back side. It's easier to weld. And then you keep all your parts aligned on the thing. So next would be this route. Yeah, let me put the wing nuts on. I'm trying to keep this fast. Doggone it. Please hold. 
I got three more to go. You still see it in the camera? Okay. Wing nets go on, which we have a lot in this town. And the wing nets go on. I do remember that. Who <laughs> would think that wasn't there before? Okay, now once that's all on, you can see now it's inside the whole bit, and you can see it's still turning there. Was this? I'm going to take this apart, because you'll see later why I have the bag on there. Now with this, the two pins, we have basically the oh, the grate inside of here pressed in. So now, when you go to put it on, you basically, in this case that I've done, I'm going to have the lock pins in. And I can do that, turn it on, and then that way I have basically the grill and everything else. So I have, now I have an access, in which now... I can take some rocks, stow them in there. Let's do the whole thing. That'll probably blow up. Now I can put this together, and now they don't jam. Probably shouldn't put that many rocks in at once, but for you t small time people that want to do it, it's actually a, a neat little process to do. So anyway, there's mine. <laughs> so you prospectors can go out there and have this to do your test, and pan it out, and go from there. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> well, that's for you little mini <laughs> rock crushers. Just <laughs> touched the red button. I did. No, you didn't. You must have touched it again. I hope this whole time, was that red dot on? No. I just turned it on. I hit it.